crafters, welcome to Paulette's Pretty Paper Crafts. It is already time for January 2015 name tags. I've chosen some stamps to do kind of a New Year's theme where they're dropping the globe over New York City. I thought that would be kind of fun. I've cut my little pieces of cardstock down to fit the tags that I have, and that is going to be two and a half by three and a quarter. These name badges came from Walmart. In order to maximize my cardstock, I have taken an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock, put it in my paper trimmer the tall way, and cut it at two and a half, two and a half, and two and a half, and you get this little waist strip here. And then take those little rectangular sections. So let's just fold this down because what you're going to be left with is these two and a half by 11 pieces of cardstock. And you're going to lay these back in your trimmer and cut them at three and a quarter, three and one quarter, and three and one quarter. And then you're left with these little pieces on the end. You can save those little pieces if you wish to and use them for sentiment strips for your cards, for your greeting cards. I've chosen three stamp sets and an individual stamp to use for this project. This is a Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous. It is called City Central and we're going to use that lovely little cityscape from that stamp set. I've got some $1 stamps here that I have uh, taped together just for ease of use. And we're going to use this one here in the corner. We're going to use the Disco Ball. And then I've got a January themed one here on this corner. And we're going to use this little January oval. Now this one actually has, it says 2008 three bugs in a rug. I had not labeled those others. Those were before I ever even fathomed crafting on a blog. I'm going to be stamping the sentiment and the globe in Ranger Archival Jet Black ink. You could stamp your city in black as well if you wanted to. I did try uh, stamping that with some Stampin' Up black dye-based ink, and it just it just smeared. And uh, this one actually dried longer, and I the residue from that that ink just smeared all over that even after it was dry. So. I went on to the Ranger Archival Jet Black ink. So we're going to stamp with our sentiment first. This little stamp is a Hampton Art stamp, Katie and Company for Studio G. And I have altered this and taken my sentiment and stamped it on or adhered it to the end of the block so I can use it independently without the image. I do that on a lot of stamps that are uh, mounted that way. Just makes them more versatile for me. And then we're going to stamp our globe also in the Ranger. And I'm going to drop that right from the Y on the word year. And then we're going to stamp that little January oval. Because it was going to make my card lopsided just to have one, I ended up stamping two. And I decided since this was an oval shape that these could just be clouds and that that would be just just fine and a little fun. Something different. I usually stamp my month down at the bottom, but since the city is down there, this worked out really, really cute, I think. So it's okay to be flexible and make, make it work for you. Then we're going to stamp our cityscape in this going gray. Now, you could do that in black. I had so much trouble with that other black, and I just didn't think I had enough ink in my Ranger pad to do, you know, stamp 25 or 30 of these. So I went with this gray color. And it, it was okay. Maybe it let my, my globe stand out a little bit more. 
There, that one's not bad. We're also going to use an American Crafts marker. And you know, I purchased these at Tuesday morning. And I have discovered that they are just fantastic for doing any coloring that I need on the stamping that are on my calendars that I make every year that have all of our birthdays on it. It doesn't bleed through and it's permanent, so it's perfect for calendar coloring. And I use this on my calendars, so ultimately... Um, I'm just I'm just using it on this project because I am using my calendar stamping as inspiration for my name tags this year. That way I don't have to come up with something new. I can design something I've already come up with but not shared. So there we are. Happy New Year. I hope you guys are having a good start to the new year. I wish you all a blessed new year. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know. Thanks for joining me.